The space is fascinating. Over time, humans have sought techniques to travel into space to determine whether life exists on other planetary bodies. Thanks to NASA's Transisting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, we can now look for transisting exoplanets throughout the entire sky. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is presently being used as a tool to explore planets that resemble Earth. If you're interested in the most recent scientific discoveries, watch this video completely. First up, TESS identifies an ultra-short period exoplanet. TESS is a NASA mission conducted by MIT that searches the entire sky for transisting exoplanets. The most effective discovery method for tiny exoplanets to date is transisting planets, which are those that pass in front of the star as observed via a telescope. A new ultra-short period exoplanet has been discovered by a global team of astronomers using NASA's Transisting Exoplanet Survey satellite. The recently discovered extraterrestrial planet, HD 20329b, orbits its home star in a little under 24 hours. On November 4th, the discovery was published on arxiv.org. In order to look for transisting exoplanets, TESS is surveying around 200,000 of the brightest stars close to the sun. Nearly 6,000 potential exoplanet candidates have so far been found, referred to as TESS Objects of Interest, or TOI, of which 268 have been verified. Now another TESS Object of Interest observed has been verified by a team of astronomers led by Felipe Murgas of the University of La Laguna in Spain. They note that a transit signal has been discovered in the light curve of the solar type star HD 20329 in a recently released study publication, or TOI-4524. By using the HARPS N spectrograph to do additional radial velocity measurements, it was determined that the signal was planetary in nature. According to the paper, they reported the identification of HD 20329b, an ultra-short period planet surrounding a brilliant G-type star. With a radius of 1.72 Earth radii and a mass that is roughly 7.42 times greater than Earth's, HD 20329b has a mean bulk density of about 8.06 grams per cubic centimeter. This exoplanet completes an orbit around its host star in around 22.2 hours. The findings indicate that HD 20329b is only 0.018 AU from from the star and that its equilibrium temperature is predicted to be 2000 K. Therefore, HD 20329b joins roughly 30 ultra-short period USPs with radius and Doppler mass measurements as the most recent addition to the list of about 120 known ultra-short period exoplanets. The authors of the research did not rule out the potential that the HD 20329 system contains other objects, but additional observations are needed to establish this. The astronomers noted that the radial velocity residuals exhibited a slope that might imply the presence of an additional low-mass object orbiting HD 20329 after subtracting the planetary signal of the planet from the radial velocity observations. They continued saying, The emission spectroscopy measurements for HD 20329b shows that the planet offers ideal circumstances for secondary transit follow-up with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The study determined the host star HD 20329's physical characteristics, including its radius, which is approximately 1.13 solar radii, and its mass, which is roughly 10% smaller than the sun. It was discovered that the star is 11 billion years old, and has a metallicity of negative 0.07, and has an effective temperature of 5,596K. The system is thought to be located about 207.6 light years away. Also, Earth-like planets can now be studied. James Webb Satellite Telescope's discovery of the chemical secrets of a distant world. We have learned that planets and planetary systems are more diverse than we ever expected since the discovery of the first planet circling a star other than the Sun in 1995. Exoplanets, which are so far away, offer us a chance to research how planets react under various conditions. And one of the most important pieces of the puzzle is understanding their atmospheres. The biggest telescope in space is NASA. James Webb Space Telescope. It was released in December 2021 and is the ideal instrument for exploring these realms. Scientists have now utilized the telescope to reveal an exoplanet's chemical composition for the first time. 
Additionally, the data, which was published as a preprint, i.e. it has not yet been peer-reviewed, points to some unexpected conclusions. Even this powerful telescope cannot distinguish many exoplanets because they are too close to their planet stars. However, we can use the trick of observing as the planet transits its star. A tiny portion of the starlight is filtered through the planet's atmosphere during transit, and an even smaller portion is blocked by the planet. Some of the light is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere, leaving a mark on the starlight in the form of a loss of brightness at particular colors or wavelengths. Since is an infrared telescope, it is especially well suited for studying exoplanet atmospheres. Instead of visible light, the majority of gases in an atmosphere, including water vapor and carbon dioxide, absorb infrared. According to a member of a global group of exoplanet scientists, they are utilizing JWST to investigate WASP-39b, a planet about the size of Jupiter. However, unlike Jupiter, the world orbits its star in just a few days, which causes it to be roasted in temperatures of almost 827 degrees Celsius. This provides them with the ideal chance to investigate how a planetary atmosphere reacts in extremely hot conditions. The most comprehensive spectrum of this interesting planet has been recovered by JSWT. In actuality, their research serves as the planet's first chemical atlas. They already knew that helium and hydrogen, the two lightest and most prevalent gases in the cosmos, would make up the majority of the atmosphere of this massive planet, and the Hubble telescope has already found sodium, potassium, and water vapor there. They could now quantify the quantity of water vapor and validate their initial observation. The information also indicated the presence of additional gases, such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and surprisingly, sulfur dioxide. Also, they could estimate the relative proportions of the gases' constituent elements, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and sulfur, by measuring how much of each of these gases is present in the atmosphere. They anticipate that varying amounts of these elements will be available to a baby planet at various distances from the star because planets develop in a disk of dust and gas surrounding a young star. Compared to its present very close orbit, WASP-39b appears to have a very low carbon to oxygen ratio, suggesting that it likely formed at a distance from the star where it could have easily absorbed water ice from the disk, raising its oxygen. If this planet moved, it could aid in the development of our theories on planet formulation and would lend and credence to the notion that the massive planets in our solar system also underwent significant shaking and movement during their early evolution. Next up is the sulfur content of WASP-39b. For WASP-39b, the amount of sulfur they found in relation to oxygen was quite high. In a young planetary system, sulfur should be more prevalent in the rock and debris than in the atmosphere. This suggests that WASP-39b may have experienced an unusually high number of collisions with rock fragments that contain sulfur. That sulfur would release some of its gas. Depending on how hot it is, different compounds react with one another differently in a planet's atmosphere. The reactions usually balance one another out, settling into an equilibrium state where the total amounts of each gas stay steady. For a variety of beginning points, they were able to foresee the gases that would be present in the atmosphere of WASP-39b. However, none of them discovered sulfur dioxide because they thought that any sulfur present would be trapped in a separate gas, hydrogen sulfide. The process known as photochemistry was the final component of the chemical jigsaw puzzle. This occurs when the energy from photons or packets of light originating from the star drives the rate of some chemical reactions rather than the atmosphere's temperature. They didn't anticipate photochemistry to be as significant as it has proven to be because WASP-39b is so hot, and reactions often accelerate at higher temperatures. According to the data, light splits atmospheric water vapor into oxygen and hydrogen, following their interaction with the gas hydrogen sulfide. These compounds would eventually take the hydrogen from the gas and replace it with oxygen to create sulfur dioxide. So what comes next for JWST? Since the ozone layer on our planet is created through a photochemical process, photochemistry is even more crucial for cooler planets that may be habitable. During its first year of operation, JWST will be observing the rocky worlds in the Trappist system. 
all of these planets have temperatures that are more comparable to Earth's, according to some of the measurements that have previously been made. Some may even be at the proper temperature for liquid water to exist on the surface and maybe support life. Interpreting the Webb Telescope data of the TRAPPIST-1 system will require a solid grasp of how photochemistry affects atmosphere composition. The scientists need to be aware of other potential reasons for this, since an apparent chemical imbalance in the atmosphere may suggest the presence of life. The JWST's effectiveness as a tool has been shown by the WASP-39B chemical inventory. What can we anticipate as the study of exoplanets moves into a very intriguing new stage? Undoubtedly, we should anticipate more findings. Scientists may now conduct research more easily thanks to these instruments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you in the following video. See you in the following video.